From the silver screen to your TV screen, from movie stars to your favorite TV idol. From red carpet premieres to nail-biting finales, from big budget blockbusters to no budget indies. This is Cinema East Africa, your one-stop shop for all matters film and TV from this beautiful corner of our beautiful continent. Thank you for sharing your love on our first episode and now we're here with another new one. I am Tali Karomi. And I'm Harleen Jabal. In today's episode, we check out the Rwandan Film Festival in our C News. Then we go behind the scenes with film crew in Africa, behind the scenes of a TV commercial shoot. And we speak to Juliet Ochiang in our interview. Then on Hot or Not, we have Kenyan series Rush vs Tanzanian Kisa Damu. Who's going to win? Welcome to the show Cinema East Africa. Let's get started with our C News. And our first story of the day, we went to the Rwanda Film Festival, which happened last week, and this is a story that we have for you. The Rwanda Film Festival, also known as Hollywood, has not only established itself as the country's most important cultural event, but also as one of Africa's most prestigious festivals. This year's edition, themed Versatility, was held from the 22nd to the 29th of July and was kicked off at a colorful launch event at the swanky new Radisson Blue Hotel in Kigali. The launch, which was only meant to draw a limited number of invited guests, turned out to be a full house with enthusiastic film lovers and filmmakers thronging the much-awaited feet. After the launch, the festival held free public screenings of original Rwandese film in multiple locations in Kigali as well as newly popular rural screenings in Rubavu and Rwamagana districts. All this in a bid to promote awareness, appreciation and understanding of the art of cinema in Rwanda. It's amazing how so many people flock that launch, like they're actually excited about film. Or were they excited to see the hotel? But you know what I'm happy about is uh -huh. that that surge of people, more word spreads around. So whether they yeah. came for the hotel or the film festival, they the festival the is the win. Exactly. And the festival gets more popular, people get to see more film. Absolutely. And talking about films, we were lucky enough to watch the pre-screening of Suicide Squad thanks to Crimson Multimedia. This Warner Brothers picture that has got the DC comics, stories, heroes, villains. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. There aren't any heroes. It's bad versus evil and a huge star cast with Will Smith, Jared Leto, Margot Robbie and well the list just continues. You've got to pick out your favorite one. Let's check out what everybody else thought about it and guess who else we met. Capital in the Morning crew, Macbool and Renee. So Crimson brings to us Suicide Squad, a Warner Brothers DC comic blockbuster or really or not, let's have your name. Ah, uh, Kifue. Sorry, I thought I was being already asked for my review. <laughs> And you are Rita. Okay, so Mr. Review, Mr. Critic already. Let's get started. What do you think? Um, it's it's good. It's fun movie. It's action packed. It's for if you like just there for the action. It's cool. My honest thoughts though, Joker did not appear enough and a lot of the characters weren't fleshed out. So yeah, also Joker wasn't fleshed out. But yeah, it was cool, just not as good as I thought it would be. I've got with me here Makbul and Renee. Hello Makbul. Hey, how's it how's it going? Hi, Renee. Hey, hey, how are you? You guys are beaming. I'm so jealous. How was the movie? It was absolutely fantastic. It's one of those action flicks you can't uh, keep away from. And every scene is uh, loading to another scene. Every action scene is a sequence of another scene. It's just amazing. It's really, really good to see. And of course, it's star studded as well. Uh, Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jay Leno. It's, it's amazing. Renee, Margot Robbie is a really bad girl. Was she really that bad? No, she was worse, really. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me sort of want to rip my jeans and, you know, tear something. Although the stomach event wouldn't look the same as her one. But you know where I was left? Will Smith, like with this sort of Denzel Washington thing going, oh, God, bite me. Really? But do bite me. So if you had to rate it four of uh, out of five stars, how many stars would you give it? I, I would I would put it on on ten being the highest, right? Out of five, out of five, I would give it a two and a half. 
I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's amazing. The sequence of fantastic cinematography is amazing. Casting is fantastic. But DC is not known to be strong on script. So that kind of takes away from it. But other than that, it's a fantastic flick to just, when you want to zone out, this is it. It's an amazing movie. What about you, Renee? Don't listen to him. It's a comic. It's like a comic strip. Do you want some deep intellectual stuff for? No, it's mindless action, hot bodies, loads of destruction, and a happy ending. That's all we need. Still on C News, and what if you had the opportunity of watching the best international channels all online? It is possible with the very newly launched Ronga TV. Ronga TV is a new, exciting and easy to use online platform that will reach viewers wherever they are on the globe. It's going to be creating and streaming under reported positive success stories and analyze on the ground realities taking place all over the African continent. In addition, their carefully selected bouquet of international channels will make Ronga TV a one-stop platform to cater to all your entertainment needs. Charlie, what do you think about Ronga TV? Yo, I'm about to sign up to Ronga TV. Internet, Internet TV is the future. And that story on Ronga TV brings us to the end of C News for today, but we roll right on to behind the scenes. And this week, we were behind the scenes with film crew in Africa, FCIA, on the set of one of their TV commercial shoots. Exciting stuff happened. Here's what we have for you guys. Yeah, track like that, yeah. Ready? Camera. Action! Uh, we are currently shooting a TVC uh, for one of our local companies here in Kenya. As a producer and part of Film Crew in Africa, basically what I, what I do is produce uh, the jobs or the productions that we have on board. Uh, film Crew in Africa is us. It's, um, a partnership of like-minded uh, colleagues that uh, we started this industry together. As a producer, wh wh how I'm involved is I'm called from the beginning. An agency or a client sends a brief of what they want done for production. And then I'm the one who's responsible for costing the production. Uh, after costing the production, I go and pitch it to the agency or the client. And if they are okay with the costs that we have given to them, and we move on to the production stage. The producer is in charge of putting together the team from the director to the runners on set. So this TV commercial is uh, shot in a studio. Um, so the, the type of crew I looked for, an art director or a set designer who can put together this set. And then everyone else, director, DOP, um, you have your lighting team, which is from the gaffers to the key grip to makeup, wardrobe. You have so many of them in Kenya. You, there's a wide range of professionals. And for me, I feel this is an industry for, for me, that is, where I feel I learn every day. It doesn't matter how many years I'm going to be doing this. I will always learn something every day I'm on set, you know, because it's a world of creativity. My relationship with the director of this commercial, Tosh Gitonga, is, is my partner at Film Crew in Africa, and he's also the director of these commercials. I mean, the difference between uh, shooting long format and short format, because that's basically what it is. Uh, in the advertising, you have to tell uh, a story very quickly, in a matter of seconds, so to speak. Production is production. One is, is, is just bigger in scale which is the films. The other one, maybe you, you have, you, you're shooting for three days and, and the thing that ends up on air is just 60 seconds. But all of them are creative. Every job is different and, and I enjoy filmmaking, so I can't pick one over the other. When we came together to form Film Crew, it was about, uh, I, I believe in, in the potential of African film and African uh, storytelling through that format. And the dream is still the same. Being a female in this industry, I would say maybe things have really turned around in Kenya or maybe in Africa, or let me just say the world in general, as far as filmmaking or production is concerned. 
we have very many uh, women in filmmaking. Things are changing, so we are aligning ourselves with that and, and developing content so that we are able to create movies that each and every one of us or an African or even someone from abroad can go to the theatre and come out and be like, wow. So what word, word of advice to young producers coming into the industry? I would say don't cut corners. My name is Tosh Kitonga from Film Crew in Africa and you're watching Cinema East Africa. That was so cool. By the way, did you know that Tosh Gitonga from FCIA is actually the director of Nairobi Half-Life? Isn't that amazing? So amazing. So glad that we were able to go on their set. Now, talking about Tosh and what he did for the Nairobi Half-Life, we're going to cross over now into the Hollywood, Bollywood and Nollywood stories. Ooh, holly, holly, holly. Absolutely. Yep, and the first story is out of Hollywood, where international superstar Matt Damon is going on vacay. A really long vacation. The 45-year-old Jason Bourne star has just announced that he is going to be taking a whole year of work to try spend some quality time with his family. He explained that this decision comes after a very busy year in front of the camera for him, which has seen him take on five major film roles in a row, and which he guiltily confesses made him drag his family all over the world for his shoots. Mr. Damon is currently on a press tour to promote his new film, Jason Bourne, which premiered in theatres on the 29th of July. Charlie, what are we going to do without Matt Damon? Girls, I'm going to miss him. One year off? That's not fair. No, if Hollywood want another big A-list actor, they can come to Kenya and search for me right here. Please, <laughs> I don't know about Hollywood. I can pull some strings in Bollywood, perhaps. And that's our next story. Karan Johar has been known to launch the careers of three stars, Ali Abad, Siddharth Malhotra and Varun Dhawan, with the film Student of the Year. He's, He's thinking of making a sequel with Bollywood's young star, Tiger Shroff. To complete the cast, Shahid Kapoor's younger half-brother, Ishan Khatter, and Saif Ali Khan's daughter, Sara, have been approached. Shahid Kapoor's brother, Ishan, is slowly but steadily gearing up for his mega Bollywood debut. The family is understandably excited but tight-lipped over the developments and are keeping their cards close to their chest. Speculations are rife that Karan Johar will launch Ishan and Saif Ali Khan's daughter, Sara, in the next installment of this Student of the Year. Can you imagine how excited those kids are getting to star in a Bollywood movie at their young age? I'm just wondering, can you dance, Charlie? Yeah, I can, but I don't think there's enough space here. Well, I think you have hopes in Nollywood now. <laughs> go there. <laughs> so, from India in Bollywood, we go to Nollywood, where Halima Abubakar is causing quite a star on the social media in the west of Africa. Here's what we have for you guys. Nollywood star Halima Abubakar ruffled the feathers of her fans last week when she took to her Instagram to get this, declare that she is a virgin who cannot wait to have kids. No one knows for sure exactly what pushed the curvaceous 31-year-old actress to make such a bold declaration, but it's not sitting very well with her fans, with many of them taking to social media to hit out at Miss Abubakar. I guess no seemingly good deed goes unpunished. Aileen, that's so weird. Why would someone just go ahead and give info like that on their Instagram? Charlie, you know, I think Halima has had her reasons. We're going to wait and watch what happens right here on Cinema East Africa. Woman to another woman. This time it's Juliet Ocheng and I understand you had a chat with her. Yes, I did. Amazing lady doing amazing things. Now, we sat down with Juliet Ocheng who teamed up with Mike Ezronye from West Africa, Nollywood superstar. And they're bringing us an amazing comedy called Brother Jekyll. We sat down with her and here's what she had to tell us. So here I am with the boss lady herself, Madam Producer, Mrs. Juliet Atieno Ocheng. Hello, Juliet. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank, thank you. Thank you for inviting us into your humble abode. You're welcome. It's very beautiful, if I dare say so. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about uh, the people watching know that you're the co-producer of the movie, Brother yes. Jekyll. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Um, what happened is I was in Nigeria two years ago uh -huh. and I happened to meet Mike Ezunye. Uh -huh. I was working on a project called City Divas then, it's um, a series. Mm -hmm. So I got to discuss it with him and we said, oh, for sure we have to do something together. 
So we've been talking all this time, fast forward two years later. I went back to Nigeria for the MBCAs. We sat, we talked, we came up with the idea of, it was like, Judah, there's this movie I really want to do with you. Uh, we can chip in together and come in as two people, bring the two countries together, Kenya and Nigeria. So that's where it started. No, two years in the making. Yes. No, and people watch that, they won't they'll be like, ah, they no. just thought of this. There's actually a lot that went into it. Yes. How do you feel like now it's, that now it's coming to life? It's a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. but it's the first of its kind. It's mm -hmm. never been done before. Normally they take an actress or two to Nigeria mm -hmm. or vice versa. No two production houses have ever come together like this. Mm -hmm. So it's like East meets West. Mm -hmm. We are learning something from them, they are also learning some things for us. So I'm very excited for that prospect to lay the foundation that it's possible mm -hmm. to come together and make a beautiful movie. Okay, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I like how you said about collaboration because even when you watch big Hollywood and Bollywood movies, mm -hmm. they're always like so many companies. They yes. all, you have to come together to create something beautiful, yeah. which is what you're doing. Exactly. So what is it that us Kenyans are learning from them? We're just learning their work ethic mm -hmm. and we obviously know that their movies are really moving up in the world. They're yeah. branching into Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to learn in terms of their crews, the equipment they use, their discipline on set. Mm -hmm. um, our Kenyan actors are very amazing. That's why 98% of the Kenyans are actors. Mm -hmm. Only two of them are Nigerians. But I had to use their crew so that we can exchange, we make it equal. Yeah. Yes. So we take the cast, they take the crew. Yes. Am I straight? It is. <laughs> so how is it going? How are Kenyan actors performing? Oh, they are fantastic. They are yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, when we were auditioning, we did a closed audition because we knew if we, we did a public one, oh, we'd be auditioning for two weeks. I would be there. <laughs> I would be there in queue. You can still be there in the next one. Oh, there's a next one. <laughs> well, you never know. Cinema East Africa exclusive. That, yes, right there. Uh -huh. yes. Um, so we just did, we sent out to Derek Cassetto, he's a casting director, he's also an actor. Yeah. And he was top three on, um, uh, what is this island? The Survivor. The Survivor Africa. Yeah, I know Derek. Yes. Big guy. Yes. I know him. Huh? So I called him, I told him, Derek, these are the people we need, these uh -huh. are the characters, bring us at least four each, and then from there we pick. And he did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Everyone we got is amazing. Mike and Charles, the director, was, they were really impressed when they came. Like, they they oh. didn't know who to pick. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, they even felt bad yes. for... Uh -huh. Yeah, we had to, I had to say, guys, we go with this one, this one, this one, this one. Because you can't take everyone. Yeah. So the talents here, I have to say, is amazing. She's a woman to watch out for. Yeah, very ambitious, very exciting to listen to, and I can't wait to see what else she brings for us in the years to come. But still on that note on Brother Deku, we have the exclusive new trailer we need to show you. It's going to be hilarious, so hang on and hang on to your ribs. Here's the trailer for Brother, for brother Deku. Be and it's you, we go die. If you is die, eh? My English will wake you up. My cousin sister. Give it to you this day. Money? Yeah. Ria. Yeah. Ah! In the Kenya, in the coming city. Yeah, you are all. This place is kind of a cool day. Happy, 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 happy! My name uh, is Jeku uh, from Nigeria. Nigeria? Uh, uh, it's not be Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. Nadani lisema hisu mutamua sahizi. Isame lady boss. You, auntie. Mind yourself, because this abroad I am is abroad. Never in your low life should you call me auntie. Has Jeku called you? Look no. There is heat everywhere. You heard? Yeah, there are touch knots. I know you are out there. Oh, speak, speak, other people. Charlie, that looks absolutely funny. Is it Nigeria? No, it not be Nigeria. It Nigeria. Oh, I'm afraid for my ribs. I'm going to be laughing the whole time. From Nigeria to East Africa, we now check out our big five. We've picked out your top five East African actresses. 
At number one is Piera McKenna, known to be a very instinctive, ambitious lady. This DJ is rocking the dance floors. She's just become a mom and she's having an amazing acting career. Next on number two, we have Wema Sepetu. Now, Wema is best known infamously known for her bitter breakup with Diamond but apart from that there's a lot that goes to Wema Sepetu. She is a model who turned to acting after her modeling career and we she had her breakout role in a series called A Point of No Return and after that it's just been acting credit after acting credit there's been Red Valentine, Family Values and so many other movies that Miss Sepetu has been in. At number three, we have Tanzania's Elizabeth Michael, who started her acting career at the tender age of just five. She's been a winner at the Zanzibar International Film Festival. She's done her own production called Foolish Age. This girl is definitely ambitious. She's done films like The Prophet, Splitter, Bongaland 2, and There's No Place Like Home. Then on number four, we have Screen Siren from Kenya, Sarah Hassan. Now, Sarah got her fame by starring in Tahiti High, a popular citizen TV comedy as Tanya, a lovely role. I loved her in that. And she's gone on to act in so much more, a lot of series such as Saints, Jane and Abel, and she's also been in movies as well, such as I Am a Slave. And currently, I hear she's in LA doing film at film school. Bravo, Sarah Hassan, bravo. To complete our number five, we've got a fab lady known as Anita Fabiola, who's done a TV series called Studio 256, hosted a show called Be My Date, is it, Charlie? Yes, Be My Date, a very popular show. Well, her career took off at the age of 12 when she was discovered by an Arapa modeling agency, and she's never looked back. And those are the top five hottest actresses in East Africa on the Big Five here on Cinema East Africa. And we're back on Cinema East Africa with Hot or Not. Now today, we pit two great East African TV series against each other. On one end, we have Kenyan TV series Rush, and on the other hand, we have Tanzanian series Kisa Damu. Now, what side are you on, honey? Of course, Kenyan. I'm with the lovely Lucy Chodate, okay, man. Okay, let's hear about Rush. Let's hear about Rush. Okay, so Rush is about these amazing four cosmopolitan women who are trendy, who are with it, who are good-looking, uh -huh. and talented. What do you have? This that no Kisa Damo is a brand new series out of Bongowood. Bongowood, we all know how amazing Tanzanian stuff is. So a brand new series and it's about love and family and what happens when we let jealousy and distrust come between us. All that family drama, it's so relevant in our in our lives today. No, I think it's more scandalous to be on the media side and the intrigue and the suspense and the backstabbing that happens. No, no, no. Okay, that that might be so, but mine has bigger stars who what stars does yours have my stars are the fans of cinema east africa you've got to start voting for hot or not go on to our twitter handle go on to facebook subscribe to youtube and beat charlie down no no kisa damu ju kisa damu ju so vote kisa damu for hot or not And we're back at Cinema East Africa. We've got a lovely lady in the studio. Charlie, why don't you tell us more about her? Yo, we have a star in the studio. I'm talking singer, songwriter, rapper, the one, the only, Jerry herself. How are you doing? Hey, hello. Hi, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming down to talk to us, to me and Harleen. We are super excited to meet you. But mainly we're interested in this. Oh, back Chesa, here. Yes. Chesa. It's just dropped, I think, two days ago. Uh -huh. It's part of my, you know, new list of songs that I'm releasing. Nice, nice. Tell us about the music video. Um, it was shot at Westwood. Mm -hmm. um, I used Le Leonard uh, mm -hmm. as the director. It was just basically about swag, feeling good. Mm -hmm. and. Basically, just feeling good, feeling good. That that was the theme. That like, was the theme, yeah. I imagine you go, you went to the director. You're like director. Feel good. That's all yeah, I want. Yeah. But Charlie, can't you see? She's also so good looking. So the feel good factor has to come in. I'm trying to maintain my composure here. I'm like, ugh, panicking. But anyway, it, we, we love we love the video and we can feel that feel good aspect. Yeah. Tell us more about Nzeri as a musician. Right now, I'm at a creative space where I want to explore.